good morning all of you uh, today we are going to discuss the quantitative marks of cause so quantitative marks of cause so already we have discussed the qualitative marks of cause in our last class but today uh, what are the quantitative marks of cause so first of all when we see a cause quantitatively then the cause is equal to the effect that means quantitatively we can say that a cause is equal to the effect it means that as regards quantity the matter and the energy quantity the matter and the energy here in the cause that is as regards quantity the matter and the energy in the cause are equal to the to those in the effect this mark that is the this characteristics or of cause follows from the law of conservation of energy follows from this law that is the laws of conservation of energy so here the follows from the law of conservation of matter and energy conservation of matter and energy so according to this law the total quantity of matter and energy of this world is constant according to this law that means according to the law of conservation of matter and energy the total quantity of matter and energy of this world is constant it is neither increases nor decreases so here uh, it may either decreases or increases so please keep in mind that the total that means the quantitative marks quantitatively we can say that it, the cause is equal to the effect it means that a cause or that means as regards quantity the matter and the energy in the cause are equal to those cause are equal to those in the effect this mark or this characteristics of cause follows from the law of the law of conservation of matter and energy so according to this law that means according to the laws of conservation of matter and energy the total quantity of matter and energy of this world is constant it is neither increases nor decreases though it may change its form though it may change its form for example when a certain quantity of oxygen and is mixed with certain quantity of hydrogen then we get a new form that is water so already we have studied in the science also that when certain quantity of oxygen mixed up with certain quantity of hydrogen then we get a new form that is water so both the causes that is oxygen and hydrogen are the form of gas but the uh, effect water is the form of liquid so here the gases 
transform into the form of liquid. So the form is certainly changed. But the water of the weight of water produced is exactly equal to the weight of the substances combined to produce. Hence, so far as the matter is concerned, though the form is different, but weight is same. Again, we see that when a certain quantity of oxygen mixed up with a certain quantity of hydrogen, then we get a new form that is water. Here, that is both the causes that is oxygen and hydrogen as the form of gas but the water the effect water is the form of a liquid so the form is certainly changed but the weight that is the form is certainly changed but the weight of water produced is exactly equal to the weight of the substances combined to produce it. Hence, so far as matter is concerned, though the form is different, but weight uh, uh, is same. So, according to this law, that is the law of conservation of matter and energy, that is the total quantity of matter and energy of this world is constant. So, it is proved that it will it is it has proved that the according to this law the total quantity that is the oxygen and hydrogen the quantity is certainly changed but the weight of water produced is exactly equal to the weight of the substances combined to produce it hence so far as the matter is concerned Though the form is different, but weight is same. It is neither increases nor decreases according to this law. That means according to the laws of conservation of matter and energy. So this is the marks of the quantitative marks of cause. Again, uh, we say that is according to the law of conservation of matter and energy also the quantity of energy in the effect is completely identical to that in the cause quantity of the energy in the world remain same it is constant and can neither be increased nor decreased though one form of energy may be changed into another form. So now according to this law that is the conservation of only energy not matter. Energy the quantity of energy in the effect is also completely identical to that in the cause. Quantity of the energy in the world oh, remains same. It can it is constant it can and it can neither be decreased nor increased though one form of energy uh, one form of energy may be changed into form for example when for example when a moving fan loses its motion it seems to appear that the energy is lost but as a matter of fact it is converted into another form of energy that is heat that is heat here for example that means heat so again uh, I am saying the example that is when a moving fan loses its motion it seems to appear that the energy is lost but as a matter of fact it is converted into the for another form of energy 
that is heat so here the energy of motion is turned to the energy of heat here the here here but as a here the energy of motion is turned to the energy of heat therefore so far as energy is concerned the quantity of energy in the effect is exactly equal to that in the cause thus it can be seen that according to the law of conservation of energy total amount of energy in the world remains constant hence it follows that the marks of quantitative marks of cause it is uh, equal to that effect so can in conclusion we can say that in regarding the quantitative marks of cause that the cause is always equal with equal to the effect but or in another sense that is it follows that the quantitative marks of cause is its equality with the effect so according to this here one thing keep in mind that according to the laws of conservation of matter and energy um, in the first topic that is the first uh, important uh, quantitative marks that is uh, quantitatively we can say that the uh, cause is equal to the effect it means that as regards the quantity the matter and the energy in the cause are equal to those in the effect this mark that is um, uh, the this mark that means this characteristics follows from the laws of conservation of matter and energy so we can um, we can see that both the way that is in the law of uh, laws of conservation of matter and energy and the laws of conservation of energy so first uh, uh, example in the first example that is hydrogen and oxygen so both the form of uh, both the uh, causes that is oxygen and hydrogen then uh, uh, is the form of gas but the effect water is a form of liquid so here the gases transform into the form of liquid uh, liquid so the form is equally that is the form is certainly changed but the weight of water produced is exactly equal to produce is hence so far as matter is concerned though the form is different but the weight is same but according to the law of conservation of energy here we can see that when we a when a moving thing loses its energy or loses its motion it seems to appear that the energy is lost but as a matter of fact it is converted into the another form of energy that is heat so here here uh, the energy of motion is turned to the energy of motion uh, energy of heat therefore so far as energy is concerned the quantity of energy is equal is energy in the effect is equal to that in the cause so in both the ways that is the law of conservation of matter of uh, matter and energy and the laws of conservation of energy we can conclude that the quantitatively it follows that the uh, cause is its quality is equally with the effect so there are um, this mark is very important character or this characteristics of cause so um, already we have discussed in the earlier vid uh, videos also that according to this according to these definitions that is um, carvet read or uh, some logicians famous logicians like mill um, hebein humes so according to these uh, definitions that is the carvetri's definition um, we find two types of marks or characteristics which one is qualitative marks of causation which have already discussed and today uh, i have discussed that the quantitative marks of cause so there are two types of 
marks of cause that is qualitative marks of cause and quantitative marks of cause. So, uh, these are the that is qualitative marks of cause and the quantitative marks of cause is, um, is over. So, now quantitative marks of cause that there are two examples here one the according to the this law in this explanation according to this law of conservation of matter and energy one example and another according to the laws of conservation of energy another example um, um, we have discussed so overall that is we can conclude that the uh, quantitatively that is quantitative mark of cause it uh, cause is its uh, equal to the effect so now today's video is over thank you everyone